What? Wait, wait, wait. What? <laughs> okay. Oh my god. <laughs> that blew my mind. Whoa. Hi, welcome back to another Japan vlog. This is the final episode that documents day 14 and 15 of my Japan vacation. I tried some delicious A5 Wagyu beef for the first time. After that, we trekked our way over to Suga Shrine. We visited the iconic stairs that was featured in the anime movie, Your Name. Here, Laura and I recreated the ending scene of the movie at the staircase. After that, Laura wanted to buy a Dango Cat plushie at Akihabara before we met up with our friend, Kwan. For the rest of the evening, we grabbed a quick dinner at Yoshinoya, visited a maid cafe, and tried to win a plushie from an arcade store. Finally, on my last day of the trip, we made our way to Ueno. This is where I won a Pikachu plushie and ate some delicious udon to end my trip. On day 14, we started off with a chill morning, sleeping in and making our way to Miyabi to try some delicious Wagyu beef. We were pretty excited because this is our first time ever eating A5 Wagyu beef. Hey Laura, where are we now? Uh, What'd you order? Uh, with smaller Yes. Mon ordered the A3. I'm ordering the A5. We just made it here. Like an hour before yeah. they close. Yeah. An hour before they close. So I was like slightly worried they would turn us away. Because we've had that happen. We've arrived at places like... Like 40 minutes before. Yeah. And it's like... I mean, I mean, 40 minutes is still ample time to like cook the food like for us. To eat. Cut off, it yeah. Seems... But that was a smaller place. Yeah. Anyways. But you know, no, it depends on the staff. Yeah, it really does. It really does. But Joey really lives so close. We had to get his wife to be there. Mm-hmm. Yes. But Chewy is here. Chewy is here. My hungry eating alter ego, Chewy. Yeah. I'm excited. The photography persona is Joao. Joao. But Chewy's here now. Chewy. Chewy's here now. The flame is going. We got water. Ooh, look at that. Oh, I'm excited. I'm finally, I'm finally checking off one of the biggest my biggest um, goals in Japan is to be A5 Wagyu beef. What is A5? The quality? Yeah, so there's like different grades. So basically there's different grades. Um, I don't know. I think it's one through five. One is just like, I think like regular. Like one and two is just regular Wagyu. I don't really like, consider it like special, but um, but I think three, four, and five is like where you get the fatty beef, you know. Oh, yes. I think you get uh, salad and soup, rice, yes. and dessert. And that's perfect. That's that's what we want. That's what we want. Wait, are you gonna get coffee? Uh, towards towards the end, I'm just gonna reorder. I'm not gonna drink coffee during my Wagyu beef, so I'll reorder. I like tea with my nails. Oh, I see. Okay. We're reading over the instructions, the recommendations of how you eat it. It was a little confusing, but Lauren was able to use Google Translate to get it. So first one is what was the first one? I don't remember. Uh, we put we put the meat on where it's salt and pepper first. Second one is don't flip too many times, and third one is recommendations of the sauces of like combinations. So yeah. Nice. I'm gonna go for the bathroom. Okay. Joey's first A5 Wagyu. First A5. Just dip it in one of the sauce. Yes. 
so tender. Oh my gosh, it's so soft. You just chew right through it. Not too chewy. It's still hot. Air is probably softer, but. There. What's this? I don't know. It's just from your plate. <laughs> The full course meal was actually quite affordable, including soup, salad, meat, and a dessert. Lauren's A3 meal was 1500 yen, and my A5 meal was 3,500 yen. This was definitely an incredible opportunity to try Wagyu beef without breaking the bank. Here, the chef was coming to see if we wanted to order any more food for our last order because they were going to close in 30 minutes. I decided to get a cup of coffee to revitalize my energy since we have a long day ahead of us.
Yeah, what did you think? So, I don't really like to eat beef. Uh-huh. Like, Joey loves to go to all you can eat, like hot pot or cake barbecue. Mm -hmm. And most of the time, that beef is just too chewy Too for chewy? Me. Like, chewy? I don't really enjoy it that chewy? much. Uh -huh. I just go with Joey Uh-huh. But I did enjoy that beef. It was very good. Very soft? Yeah. Like, I, it was very soft. Uh -huh. um, it was tasty and easy to chew. Mm -hmm. I like the sauce. Except, um, you know, the thing... One of them was a little salty, but... Yeah. I think one of the things was that, um... Are we, are we across oh, here? we're going across here, yeah. Okay. I think one of the things is, like, some of the cuts had either... It wasn't all like soft. Uh, there, there was like chewy. a there was like a fascia or like a tendon uh, part. It wasn't tendon. It was like a fascia part where all the fat, all the muscle fiber aligned. Oh, you yeah, know, yeah. that's 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 where you had like the even though it's, it was a five, so you, you had like the the chewy part. Yeah, you have to bite it. Yeah. In the way that yeah. the muscles so if, are going. Yeah. So you try to like when you peel a mm -hmm. banana, like yep. you can only peel it one right. way. So you should like bite it that way. Yep. Um, but as long as you do that, and it helps when they cut like slices, mm -hmm. like not full cuts, but just like slightly slice the meat, it's like easier to bite yeah, into. Yeah, I agree. And then I also appreciated all the sides. We had like a salad, we yep. had like kimchi and bean uh -huh. sprouts, yep. and <clears throat> uh, we had like a rice soup mm -hmm. that was really warm and good. And then yeah. we even got dessert. And mm -hmm. Mine only cost eleven dollars, and Joey's only cost twenty six dollars. Yep. So honestly, I don't want to eat all you can eat beef anymore. I only <laughs> want to eat beef. Yeah. If it's that kind of beef, is that yeah. was soft enough for me and really good? Yeah, it was. So if we look back in the video, yeah, it, the I thought it would look like a really good piece when I gave it to Lauren, but she, yeah, one of the A five had like a little like a fascia or tendon piece in there that was like a little chewy but other than that yeah, like I gave, gave I gave you the second bite. piece yeah I gave her the second piece I knew it was like okay this is definitely like melt melt in your mouth softness you know yeah you gave me like just a little piece uh -huh. at the end like out of your last one I think yeah when I bit into that it was just like butter yeah it was, like, it was straight butter oh yeah. my gosh um, so I don't, I'm gonna have a hard time going back. So <laughs> That's why we can't have beef. nice things. Because I yeah. already didn't love it. Yeah. But now I'm gonna know what soft beef tastes like. Right. Yeah. And we are going the right way. Thank you. Yeah. I, I mean, I trust you, but I have to check. Yeah. For time uh, efficiency. Mm -hmm. It was, it was a good experience. I thought, yeah, I, I thought I was going to have a Wagyu, A5 Wagyu beef experience. Well, that's because whenever you look it up online, it's like a hundred plus yeah, dollar places. True. But that's I think true. at these places you get a whole platter. Yeah. Like you do when you go to like Cape Verde. Mm -hmm. And this was like a very humble platter of meat. Yeah. It just looked bigger with all the sides around it. Mm -hmm. But it was But like it was perfect. enough. It was enough for like a meal. Like, yeah, it didn't feel skimpy. It was like. I, don't I think, think I could just eat mm -hmm. straight beef, like for thirty. You can't I can't go back anymore. No. The A3 was still pretty good, actually. What like, you had was still pretty good. Yeah, it had like patches that were really soft, and then patches that like weren't mm -hmm. as soft. So I think yeah, it just wasn't like a hundred percent. Yeah. Like I, soft. The beef. locations where they like cut the striations really help you t like to chew through it. You know. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, you, I, I kind of like the A3 more. It has more it chew. Has, yeah, it has more chew. I feel um, like A3 is just like 50% A5, 50% not A3. Yeah, 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 and yeah. And then A5 is like 100% mm -hmm. yep. A5. Like, exactly. I think it's not like a lower quality, it's just not as pure. It's a, it's a different cut, yeah. It's yeah. not as pure like soft. Yeah, I agree. Um, but some of my pieces felt really soft and then some of them were right. chewy and they were like mixed in together so mm -hmm. even mm -hmm. on the same slice. Yeah. Yeah, I think I yeah, I, I enjoyed both. Definitely 
It was nice to try the A5 butteriness melt in your mouth. It was actually kind of hard to cook. I wish, actually that's the one thing. I, I kind of wish they, yeah, like. Some of them were like chunky. Yeah. And it was hard to cook. Like Joey cooked them all, like thank you. Thank but you, then, like, yes. But then the very middle was in cooked in mm -hmm. But it's not because you're like not good at cooking it, it's just, it's yeah. the, I wish the cuts were all thin. Yep, yeah. I, you know, that's the one thing. I kind of wish they cooked it for us because it was hard to cook the th the, the chunky pieces, yeah, but you medium did a good rare. Job. Yeah. You did a good job. Like the last two, three, two, three, A5, I, I might have, like, over. I, I, wanted, I wanted it to be medium rare, but it was just, like, hard to, like, know. Like the the level that you've done it, so it might be just like medium instead of medium rare, but it was still like really really good. Yeah, but it was still very tasty yeah. and affordable. Mm -hmm. Wait. I agree. The the, the affordable. The yeah, the I think the affordability really makes it like a good experience for us. Yeah, like, and they really like buffed it up with yeah. all the sides. All the sides were really tasty. The, yeah, the sides were tasty. The egg drop soup was phenomenal, I think. Yeah, and uh, dessert was good. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, the dessert, nice. the nuttiness really like Yeah, it was like makes a silk it, and tofu. Mm -hmm. Yeah. With a mandarin slice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the tofu had that nuttiness. It, it's like real tofu, like yeah. I think. Uh, Sometimes it's more like jello. Right, right, right. But this is like real tofu. I agree. Oh, we need to go in here. Yeah, we have to go down here. Okay. Oh, other than that, we're gonna do a Your Name reenactment. Yeah. Uh, I hope, I think we can just get it done pretty fast. We don't have to like nail it perfectly shot just, for just shot. tell me what to do and hopefully no one's around. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It'd be cringe if someone was around. I know, I was, but, oh, well. I was like, what are the chances that someone else is there? Because it's like literally in the middle of nowhere. Like, it's kind of annoying to get there. Uh-huh. So like, maybe no one's there it's not really a touristy spot, but then, yeah. like, there's so many people here, like, what, I still don't think statistically someone could Statistically, I think it's 90%. Oh, whoops, wrong one, lol. Yeah, statistically, I think it's a 90% chance we'll find someone there. We're going to platform yeah. one. Because there's, a, I mean, like, there's a good chance there's a lot of weebs or anime weeaboos that come here to Japan, yeah. including me, so. <laughs> yeah, including us. Yeah. yeah. I don't think it. Yeah. The only thing I do that's annoying is like maybe I accidentally block the way yeah. because I just stopped and mm -hmm. I should move to the side. But we're not noisy. Yeah. We're trying to be good. We always say arigato gozaimasu yeah. in any situation. Yeah, we try. I think they appreciate that. We don't just speak English all the time. Yeah. We do our best. I, th I feel like, okay, here's one thing I realize. In, like, restaurants and service industries, I feel like, okay, there's someone behind you. Okay. I feel like, I feel like people don't, are like regular Japanese people who are customers, don't say arigato gozaimasu. Yeah, what do they say? I don't know. I mean, if you leave a restaurant, it was good. You can say like, gochiso sa mm -hmm. But I never yeah. say that because, I don't know, I'm just not used to it. I mm -hmm. usually just default to yeah. thank you. And they just, they just say gozaimasu or arigato, but like, I feel like oh, yeah, regular Japanese sure. people don't say it. Yeah. Wait, how many make Okay, so, we are super close to where the Your Name uh, location is. I'm very, very excited. Lauren's navigating. Look at her. Miss Navigator. Lauren, I see it. I know, me too. Do you see it? Yeah. Oh, no way. I think it's fun how excited you are. Of course I'm excited. I'm excited. Why are you it's so excited? Because it's I get to see 
the Japan that I've I've been seeing <laughs> on a screen. <laughs> okay. okay. That makes sense. There's one close to There's three. Or two, one. I'm so glad I brought my dress on. We're here. And here is our recreation of the last ending scene of the movie. So we just finished recreating your name uh, sequence or reenactment back at the back at the staircase there, and uh, we're currently uh, walking to the next station uh, to Akihara Bahara to meet Kwan and um, his friends. But other than that, it was pretty cool to be able to uh, <laughs> we like live or be there uh, where you you know you've always watched anime and and your perception of Japan is through a 2d screen but to be here in 3d in real life was actually pretty exciting I think this is actually one of the highlights of the trip for me at least <laughs> I know I've been to a lot of nice and cool places, but um, but for me that was it's a highlight because yeah, it just yeah you know, that I guess emotional connection with the anime or like you know how you see Japan and and now I'm finally here, being able to to experience it is great. What do you think, Lauren? How's your experience recreating? Um, I enjoyed seeing it because it felt very like real. Uh huh. And I can relate to it. I just said you felt like emotional when you see things. Mm -hmm. um, as far as reenacting the scenes, uh huh. Uh, I just did it for joy. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so Lauren's trying to look for a. Uh, basically a stress ball that looks like happy. Yeah. Um, which is a my black cat. <laughs> and she was so confident that it was that big camera uh, like <laughs> for the longest time. We even looked at big camera and like a... yeah, and then <laughs> I asked him to pull up a picture of it and I asked one of the employees <laughs> Like, do you guys have this here? He's like, no, bro. Like, we only saw electronics here. I don't know what you're talking about. What are these, like, words? Yeah. And then, and then I was like, I was trying to find another way to. Yeah. Are you sure? Now, now you're 100 percent sure. Okay. Anyways, back to my story. The worker's like, no, dude. We don't sell any like plushies here, type of face. Like I, I don't know what you're talking well, about. I didn't even know he's like. Uh, no. Yeah. He just yeah. like no. And uh, so now we are going to Yorobashi, which is over there. So we'll see if. Uh, it will. We'll see if it's. It'll there. be there. It will be there. Okay, it might not be there. I only saw one in the store. Uh huh. Time. But we'll know it's right if the floor matches the photo. I think. <laughs> That's true. I literally, she had a photo of it, right? Yeah. The camera floor was like all white. In the photo, 
the floor was gray. I'm like, Lauren, this is clearly the different store. Yeah. Like, I don't. Know. And then like ten minutes later, I was like, I think it's not the store. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Anyways, we'll keep you posted if she finds it or if we're at the right store. I think we'll be at the right store. Do you think so? Yeah. Okay. We've been here since so long ago. Wow. Oh, there's more! Oh, there's more! You want them? Sure. We already have matching uh, from Makane, but it looks like that. Yeah. See this floor? This is a gray floor. In the picture, it was the same exact color. And then Lauren's like, it has to be big camera. Well, I thought it was. <laughs> Look. We found it. Look at her. She's so happy now. I don't even get to go in here. Yeah. You, you want one? Sure. They're so cute. I want them all, but I'll just buy the black one. Okay. Shall we check out? I know. Shall we check out? Check out all. Check out all. Yeah. One last one. Okay. I was gonna buy this for you the first time, but then I remembered that you told me that you don't use plushies. Thank you. I kind of do, but... But you said you don't. It's for decoration. It's okay. Juan's gonna meet us here, so uh, okay, I'll we'll see. Oh, do you guys want to be in my vlog or no? Oh sure. my god. Okay, <laughs> this is Juan Fam. This is Joe. What's your last name, Joe? Albert. Albert. This is Ibuki. What's your last name, Ibuki? Shino. Shino. Ibuki Shino. And we have Reg. Oh, I'm vlogging. Oh. Is it okay with you? Okay, cool. We're all gonna we're all gonna go to a maid cafe, and we're gonna buy Ibuki a first. I, I think. Is it everyone's first maid cafe experience? Yeah, I think so. Yes! Same too. <laughs> yes. Which has an annual subscription, not just Oh, <laughs> hell yeah. <laughs> okay, and uh, Quan just gave us the lowdown of how the pricing works, and uh, we're ready to go in. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. Let's go! Okay, Lauren. Lauren, come over here. We're going to guess the age of Joe and Reg, then. How, how old do you think is Joe and Reg? 31? Okay, hold on. Hold on. You think he's 31? Uh, 32. You think? 32. Okay, Reg is 30. You think Reg is 32? No, Reg is 29. 29. And you think Joe is 32? Or 30. I, okay, obviously he doesn't look that old, but Quan told me that Joe is the oldest and Quan is 30, so Joe That's has to true. be at least 31. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna think Joe is. Like you said, 32? No, I don't. Or 31? I don't. I mean, if you wanna be more correct, you would just say like 33. So if he's older than 32, then you're right. I know, but I know. Okay. It has to be exact. So I'll say 31. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll say 33 for Joe. Okay. Okay. And then Reg is, how old do you think he is? <laughs> We're guessing your guys' age. Give us a sec. 30? Uh, We're guessing his age. Um, 30. I want to say 29. No. How old are you? 32. 32? Uh, no. no. How old is Joe? 30. Oh, 30? Yeah. But I thought Juan told me Joe was the Oh, oldest. sorry, no. Juan is 30, Joe is 31. Oh! So I thought you said. I that Joe was the oldest. 
30, 30, 31, 32? 32, 31, yeah, yeah. Dang. When we first met, yeah, we just talked What about, about this guy? Guess, guess how old I am. I want to say, just because you know Quan, 30. You think I'm 30? Just of the college okay. Quan aspect. Okay, I am 27. Oh, wait, how? But you said college with Quan. I'm going to tell you a secret. Quan did college in six years. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> so. Oh, wait, they're right there. Oh, they're right there, they're right there. But he did college for six years. Should have done um, before. So I met him. So I met him my freshman year, and it's like second to last year before he graduated. Yeah. <laughs> my bad. Oh my god! Oh. Japanese uh, snacks. Wow! That is so nice! You're so ni oh, we don't you have anything have to, for you yeah, though. We don't, we don't have anything. Dang! And you. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Welcome. Wow! I, I don't have we don't have anything for you, sorry. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. This is very nice of you. Wow. Wow. I'm shocked. Thank you so much. Yeah. She loves sweets, so you definitely packed a lot it. of. I love it. Thank you so much, Ibuki. Thank you, thank you. Oh, okay. How bad would it be? So we decided to get dinner. They give you a salad, though. The salad and miso soup. Yeah, I got the beef full. This is the only whole thing I know about. Set. Um. And Gordon still figuring it out. And he keeps like Joe has already got his. Have you tried it? No, what is it? Got his natto. It's a fermented bean. Oh, oh look at that natto. I ate natto like two days ago. Yeah. Uh, it's okay. I. It, it's not my first choice, but I, I, I can't eat it, you know, but with rice, you with want, rice. You want uh, oh. oh, okay. Thank you, thank you. Arigatou gozaimasu. That was so fast. It literally took two minutes. Arigatou gozaimasu. Wow. This is... That, that efficiency is insane, dude. Yeah. What is this? Damn, Quan, you can the skillet. All right. Sheesh. What? Wait, wait, wait. What? Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> that blew my mind. Whoa. Wow, that's so efficient. You squeeze everything out. Damn. I'm convincing him to write a love letter to the maid. Do you want some Google Translate? Yeah, you gotta, you gotta write some Google Translate. How do you spell You ain't know. Huh? Oh, actually, it's written in probably. You ain't know, you ain't know. What do you think, Joe? I think that uh, it's, a, it's a success. Yes. Yeah. Do you think she'll reciprocate your feet? <laughs> yeah, I, th I think I'm gonna wait down. Uh, she'll probably run out five minutes from now. You know? Yeah, chase you out the door, yeah. you know. Are you happy? I'm happy. Ibuki, what about you? What about, are you happy? <laughs> nice. Come on. Lauren. What's your experience? How was your experience at the maid cafe? Um, well, it wasn't as cringe as I thought it was. Cringe. Oh yeah. But it was still a little cringe. A little cringe. Yeah, it was very cute. Um, it's very interesting. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, let's see. No, I see. it wasn't great. Well, yeah. But it was great. I kind of expected that. You know? yeah. Yeah. What I did see. you think? I think it was fun. Oh shoot, they're over there. Oh, 
Oh, sorry. That you were blocking. We were, we were, we were just talking about our experience. How was your experience, Joe? It was pretty good. Yeah? Is it everything you wanted? Yeah, you we know left a place in my heart. Oh, okay. And next I'm time, glad. I'm gonna, I'll go there and ask. Oh, I see. Upgrade your membership, though. Remember. Yeah. Uh, one more time, so I'll have a silver member. Oh, yeah. You, you better get plat, and then she'll remember you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How was your experience, Ibuki? Um, great. You like it? Yeah. Tanoshi desu ka? Tanoshi desu. Oh, nice. What about you? I liked it. It was, it was pretty fun. We were all committed to like do all the, the cutesy made stuff. So it was definitely very fun when everyone is on board to uh -huh. uh, really, you... really be a part of the experience. So, yeah, and yeah. you got your picture? I did. I got a picture. With a maid? Yeah. Yep. And yeah, it was, it was, you know, might as well, you know, you only, you don't go to Japan that often. So. Yeah. I don't think I'm gonna go to a meat cafe by myself or without like a group of people. And, mm -hmm. You know, this was the perfect experience and I got a souvenir out of it, so we're good. Okay, nice. Yeah. Alright, let's, let's see, let's see. Oh! He's dumping his whole change bag in there. <laughs> <laughs> You're fine. Oh. Oh yeah, you're committed. Oh yeah. Dang, he's committed. Ibuki, show him how it's done. Do you know how to win? Oh, I have win. Do you know how to win? Um, yeah, I don't play. Another fight. Huh? Huh? Another fight. I win. Oh, another fight? Oh, where? Doko? My local, local... Oh, local uh, store. Yeah. Oh, I see. The only way to okay. win is to not play. Oh! Oh. The only way to win is to play enough times the algorithm like you get lucky yeah, you and the get arm lucky. is stronger. Mm -hmm. I'm out of 100 yen. You're out of 100 yen, bro? Yeah. Dang. Where did Juan go? I don't know. Where did he go by himself? Oh no! Your little otter. You're not gonna get your little otter, man. Get it? No, I need to get more. Oh, oh, he, he's, he's a gamer. I do. Okay, okay. Where did you put people? Let's see your strat. Okay. Oh. It's a good grab. Oh. I got skimmed, bro. You got skimmed, bro. I should've just flipped over. Yeah. Alright, one more, one more. One more? Oh, okay. It's the gamer side of Quan. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, okay. Same one? Okay. Okay, you grab. Oh, that's not, this one's not good. It needs to be further back, so I flipped over. Dang. To end the day, I wrapped the night with a sweet but light crepe dessert. This was the last item I had on my Japanese food list, and it was a good way to end the second to last day of my trip. Okay, I'm gonna get my first bite. Mm. Mm. Strawberry is very good. Oh, everything I wanted. I like it. Nice. 
I have finished all my Japanese food. Um, I think I, all my list. Good. Want to try it? No, even more. thicker than I thought. It's like almost like frosting. Yeah. First that oh there's actually like I don't know shortbread or some sort of cake. Mm. Oreo <laughs> I feel like these, um, the crepes are like kind of pre-made. Mm -hmm. It's like cold though. Yeah. It's not like warm or hot. Okay. No, you can finish no, I'm good. it. No, I'm really good. Well, let me eat my... Actually, I want to eat something I have first. Okay. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Come on. Come on, show us how it's done. Show us how it's done. Oh. Really close. You almost nudged it in, dude. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. This one's good. This one's good. I like his kayaki. Yeah, I really like Pretty cute. <laughs> Okay. Oh. Scam. Scam. Okay, I'm gonna stop looking. I'm looking. Ready? Last night. Last night in. In a hospital, not a hospital. Yes. Thank you. Da, 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 da. Oh, okay. Whoa, well, this is bigger. This is bigger. This is bigger. But the other one's Where's our luggage? Oh, I don't know. Maybe we have to. I forgot to get it. Yeah. I gotta go back in. Yeah. Oh. I kind of thought it would be here. I'm just gonna wear these slippers. Do you have your key? Yeah. Okay. day, we woke up bright and early. We checked out of the hotel and made our way to Ueno. I'm leaving the hotel now. This marks, this actually marks the end of my trip. I know. Uh, I wish, I wish. Yeah. 
put my luggage in a locker and we were ready to explore the busy town of Ueno. Five years ago, when I was in Ueno, I failed to win a plushie at Taito Station with the remaining change I had. Nevertheless, I redeemed myself this time at the same Taito Station and won a Pikachu plushie to bring back to the States. Pikachu. You redeemed yourself. Oh my gosh. And it's the same exact store. The same exact store. Like same location too? Yes, yeah, same location. Dang. Oh, I know. Okay, Good thing you we came can go back. eat now. We can go eat now. Let me, let me look. Pikachu. Pikachu. Pika. Pika. Okay, we can go eat now. I'm so happy. Okay. okay. For the last meal of the trip, we decided to eat some udon. It was incredible to watch the chefs prepare and cook the noodles in front of you. From making the dough to boiling the noodles in the steamy hot water, it just feels like you're part of the process and you're invested in the food that is being made. After the scrumptious meal, I explored Ueno Park for a little. It seemed like there was a festival or some sort of event there that day. Unfortunately, I did not have the time to see it. I had to take the Skyliner to Narita Airport and make my way back to the States. After I landed in LA, my friend Steven picked me up and I got some past see you for lunch. After that, we visited a bookstore to kill some time and then I made my way back to Denver. And that marks the end of my two week trip to Japan. <laughs>